the problem is 0 1 knapsack problem in this video i will explain what is 0 1 knapsack problem and how it can be solved using dynamic programming we will understand its approach next i will show you a tabular method for solving this one then also i will show you a sets method for solving this one so there are two methods we will see both the methods first of all let us understand what the problem is here I have some four objects. For each object, there is some profit and there is some weight. And there is a bag of capacity M, that is 8, is given. The objective is to fill this bag with these objects. So can I put them all? See, the capacity A is 8, but the total weights of all these objects is 14. So all objects cannot be filled in the bag. So I have to carry few of those, some of those objects, there is subset of those objects and I have to carry them and sell them at other place. So once I sell, I get this profit. So I have to fill the objects such that the total profit is maximized. And I have to give the solution in the form of a set for each object. Like for example, this is included and this is not included. Or not included like this I have to write down which one is included and not included so it means I can write down each xi either 0 or 1 it means the values can be 0 or 1 but not fraction so it means that the object that I am going to carry are not divisible breakable so I cannot take the fraction of that object so this means these are some solid objects maybe a mixer or microwave oven or a router it can be something like this so which i cannot take a half of a mixer in the bag so these are indivisible objects so either i should carry the whole object or don't carry it at all so i have to carry the object such that the sum of their profits should be maximized and sum of their weights should be less than or equal to the capacity of the bag now let us know the approach of dynamic programming for solving this one. Now few important things about dynamic programming. Dynamic programming is useful for solving optimization problem. Yes, this demands maximum results, so it's optimization problem. Second thing, dynamic programming says that a problem should be solved in sequence of decisions. So yes, we can take the sequence of decisions for every object we can take, shall I include or not, include or not, include or not. So I can take decisions. I can even start taking the decision from the last object also, include or not, include or not. So usually in this one, we take the decision from last object towards first object. So we can take sequence of decision. Next thing, one more point that dynamic programming says that you should try all possible solutions and pick up the best one. Now, how many possible solutions are there? See, when I'm writing the solution in the form of zeros and ones, then it can be zero, 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 means no object is included, or one, 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 means all objects are included, or zero, 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 one, means only fourth object is included, or first object is included, or first two objects are included. Like this, there are many possible solutions, and some of them may be feasible, some may not be feasible, like all objects I cannot include. So anyway, I should try all of them and pick up the best one. So total, how many solutions will be there? So like four zeros and ones form if I continue. So I'll be getting two power four solutions. So I should try two power four solution for n objects. It will be two power n solutions. So if I try out all, then the time complexity will be two power n. This is too much time consuming. So dynamic programming shows an easy method for doing the same thing. We will not, we will be indirectly trying all to power n, right? But not directly. So we will not spend that much time. Let us solve this problem using tabulation method. Tabulation method, let us see how to fill these values and how to get the solution for this problem. So for solving, as the capacity of the bag is 8, so I have taken the columns starting from 0 to 8. So this means that Though the capacity is 8, but will not consider that 8 at once. So we'll add weight 1 by 1. So starting from 0, then let us assume weight is 1, weight is 2, and so on. Then rows, 4 objects, so I have taken 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So starting from 0. So it means 
one by one we will consider the object so initially we will not consider any object means we will not include any object in the bag so for filling this we have a formula so i'll show you formula after some time after filling some values so let us see first row as a zero object no object is included then what will be the profit so in these boxes i'll be writing the profit so there is no profit gain when no object is included and even when the capacity of the bag is zero these are the this is the capacity these are the weights right and these are weights and the profits of the objects so these are the weights and there is then zero weight is there then all these are zero 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 next now I will start filling. So for that, I'll consider first object. When I consider first object, I'll take this row and I will ignore all other objects. And similarly, when I go to second row, I'll ignore the remaining and I will take the second object as well as the first object. I'll consider the first object also. So it means whenever I am in ith row, I will consider all the objects in the previous rows also. So for the first row, directly I can fill it. Let us see. First row, what is the weight of the first object? 2. So it can be filled only when the bag capacity is a 2. So here. So what will be the profit? 1. So fill 1 here. Then this means this is same value, previous value. Usually we write previous value only if required. Then rest of the cells, the capacity of the bag is increasing, but how many objects I am considering? Only one. So I don't have anything more to fill in the bag. So only that object I can fill and it will be getting profit as one, one, one only. I'll fill the second row also, right? Third row also in the same way. Then I will write on the formula. Let us go to second row. I am going to consider second object. So as I said, when I consider second object, I should also include the first object. So first let us look at the second object. See the weight of the second object is three. It can be filled in the bag only if the capacity is a three. So in this cell only it can be filled. So what is the profit that I'll get? Two. So put two here. What about this side? It will be same value, same value as the previous row. Then beyond this, what should come here? So as I said that, when you are taking second object, you should also consider first object. So if I fill the second object also in the back, total weight required is how much? 5. So this is 5 and total profit will be 3. So both the objects can be filled when the capacity is 5 and the total profit will be 3. So here both of them can be filled. Right? both of them i'm considering both of them so now i have only two objects and this is giving for both the objects are filled so rest of the values will be three 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 then what will be the value here so as this is two so this will also be two so i can take the previous value or this value whichever is maximum i can take the same thing now i will fill the third object also then for the fourth object i will show you the formula third object when I consider third object, if you look at these, the maximum weight is this one. And as they are arranged in the increasing order of their weight, so this is weight is four. So this object can be filled in the bag only if the capacity of the bag is four. So this will be included in the bag when the capacity is four. So the total profit that will be getting is five. So this is five. Then before that, whatever the previous row values are. So two, one and zero. Now beyond this, let us see. See when I am on the third object, I should also consider first and the second object also. So if I just check them, this is four. And if I take these two objects, it will be total six weight, weight is six. So these two objects I can fill if the weight is six, right? Achha, if I want to fill these two, then these two I can fill when the weight is seven. This two I can fill if the weight is 5. And what will be the profit? 3. This object itself is 5. Right? Now, I will consider these two. 6. And the total weight will be 6. So at 6, it will be 6 only. Right? And when I consider these two, so total is 7. 7. And the profit is also 7. So at 7, the profit is 7. Can I include all 3? It will be 10. 
but the capacity of the bag is only eight so i cannot include all three then beyond this the value will be seven only and before this one the value will be same as this five five all right now i will show you the formula and i will fill fourth row with that formula the formula is like this if i call this table as v this table as v then v of i comma w i is the row number w is the column number is maximum of v of i minus 1 that is from the previous row i should take same value means previous row value i should take this is the meaning or maximum of this one or what v of i minus 1 comma weight minus weight of an object w i plus profit of an object that you are considering now let us the follow the formula and fill all these first one 4 comma 1 i will fill 4 comma 1 so v of 4 comma 1 is maximum of v of 3 comma 1 like this is 4 so this will be 3 comma v of 3 comma weight is how much 1 minus weight of an object weight of an object is 5 1 minus 5 plus profit of that object is 6 6 now this becomes 3 comma minus 4 there is no such location so that value becomes undefined so only this value will be defined v of 3 comma 1 will be defined so v of 3 comma 1 is what 0 so i should take 0 only there is will not be any such index v of 3 comma minus 4 yes for that i have to take 0 only so it means up to what i will be getting negative numbers up to fifth weight up to fifth weight so till here i should fill these values as it is only so that's what i was saying that this can be considered or this can be considered in fourth so write down its value and all previous values as it is so the same thing here because there will be getting negative so till fifth weight till fifth weight before that till before that i have filled as it is now this fifth weight how to fill i will show you for this value 4 comma 5 v of 4 comma 5 is maximum of v of 3 comma 5 comma v of 3 comma weight is how much 5 minus weight of this object is how much 5 plus profit of this object is how much 6 6 let us see v of 3 comma 5 3 comma 5 is how much 5 comma v of 3 comma 5 minus 1 5 minus 5 0 v of 3 comma 0 3 comma 0 is 0 plus 6 so which is greater 6 is greater so fill this value with 6 so, so that means this object is included here now 4 comma 6 i will find out v of 4 comma 6 is maximum of v of 3 comma 6 comma v of 3 comma weight is 6 right and the weight of the object is 5 plus profit of the object is 6 so how much this is v of 3 comma 6 is how much 3 comma 6 is 6 6 comma v of 3 comma 6 minus 1 6 minus 5 that is 1 3 comma 1 3 comma 1 is how much 0 0 plus 6 so the answer is both are same only so take 6 only next value 4 comma 7 v of 4 comma 7 maximum of v of 3 comma 7 comma v of 3 comma weight is how much 7 so weight of the object is 5 7 minus 5 plus profit is 6 so this is 3 comma 7 is how much 7 comma this is v of 3 comma 7 minus 5 is a 2 3 comma 2 so 3 comma 2 is how much 1 plus 6 so this is 1 plus 6 so this is 7 only both i am getting 7 or 7 so they are same only take 7 v of 
फोर कॉमा एट फोर कॉमा एट इज मैक्सिम ऑफ वी ऑफ थ्री कॉमा एट कॉमा वी ऑफ थ्री कॉमा वेट इज एट माइनस द वेट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज फाइव प्लस प्रॉफिट इज सिक्स थ्री कॉमा एट हाउ मच थ्री कॉमा एट इज सेवन कॉमा वी ऑफ थ्री कॉमा एट माइनस फाइव इज थ्री थ्री कॉमा थ्री हाउ मच टू सो दिस इज टू प्लस सिक्स सो हाउ मच दिस इज दिस इज सेवन एंड दिस इज एट सो आंसर इज एट सो दिस इज हाउ द टेबल इज फिल्ड सो आई हैव यूज द फॉर्मूला फॉर फ्यू सेल्स इन द लास्ट रो एंड दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी फिल्ड डायरेक्टली ऑल्सो विदाउट द फॉर्मूला let me show you how to fill this last row directly i am considering fourth object whose weight is 5 and the profit is 6 so in fifth column just write 6 its profit and what to write on the cells before that same value as the previous row this is what you do first then beyond this now the weight is 5 beyond this the capacity of the bag is increasing so i can include other objects also so let us check other objects what i can include in the sixth column this object is definitely because its profit it is maximum right 5 plus 2 7 at 6 nothing will happen so take 6 only at 7 i can consider these two these two so this is 6 plus 1 7 7 Then at eight, when the bag capacity eight, which of the objects I can consider five plus three eight, so six and two eight, so this is eight. So whichever objects that you can consider, you just add them, and in that capacity, if they are fitting in, you write on the max total profit. So this is the simple method for filling the cells. Instead of following this complex formula, you can follow that method. So I have shown you both solution. I have to write down x one, x two, x three, x four values. Now these. Now for finding these answers, actually I'll be taking sequence of decision now. See the decisions can be taken only if you have the data. Yes, we have kept the data ready. The formula was used for filling this data. Now I have to take the sequence of decision. So how to solve? So actually I have to know which object should be included and which should not be included in the bag. So let us come with the maximum profit that is eight, the last cell. This eight is generated only in fourth row, and in that previous row you don't find eight anywhere. So it means we got this eight because of including fourth object only. So include the fourth object. Right? Profit is eight. Fourth object is included because eight is not there in previous row. Now, what is the profit of the a a fourth object? Eight minus profit is six, six. So this is two. Now remaining profit is two. Now check whether two is there in the third row. Now I have to check for the third object, fourth, then third, then second, and then one. So third object two is there? Yes. It's the same value two is there in the previous row also. Yes, it is there. So it means it is not because of third object. So don't include third object. Now let us consider second object. Is it two there here in the second row? Yes, two is there here. Is it there in the first row also? No. So it means this we got because of inclusion of the second object. So take this as one. So now remaining is two minus two, so zero. Now zero was it there in the first object? So I have to consider the first object. Yes, zero was there in the first object row. Was it there in the zeroth also? Yes, it was there in the zeroth also. This row also. So it means don't include the object. So this is the solution. So it means which objects are included in the bag? X two and X four. Two objects are included in the bag. So that is X two is this one. X four is this one. So total profit will be eight. So this is the maximum profit of zero one knapsack problem. Next, I will solve it using sets method. Same problem. I will solve it using set method. Now, let us solve it using set method. Set method will try to find all possibilities and pick up the best solution. So, let us see how sets are generated. We will prepare a set of order pair that is profit and weight. So, we'll start with the set zero. Set zero. In this, we say no profit, no weight. Means nothing is included in the bag. 
Then we will consider the first object that is 1 comma 2 whose profit is 1 and the weight is 2. So consider the first object. So prepare S0 of 1 and include this first object in the bag. So it will be 1 comma 2. So actually add 1 comma to this order pair. So we get this one. Now prepare set 1. Then merge these two order pairs and prepare this one. So this means that we have considered first object. So two order pairs are showing that first object is not included. First object is included. Now let us prepare next set by considering second object. So that is 2 plus 3. So prepare next set that is S11. So add 2, 3 to these order pairs. 2 plus 3. So this is 2 comma 3. Then 2 plus 3 is added. So this will become 3 plus 3 comma 5 then this is second set for the second object so when you consider second object total four order pairs all these are merged so this is 1 2 and 2 3 and this is 3 5 this means that no object is included first object is included second object is included both objects are included four possibilities are there so all the order pairs we got then prepare S2 of 1 by considering third object 5 comma 4. Add 5 comma 4 to all. So this 5 plus 4. So this is 5 plus 4 is 5 comma 4 only. So 5 plus 4. So this will become 6 and 6. So this is 6 comma 6. 5 plus 4. So this is 7 comma 7. So 5 is added to this and 4 is added to this. So this become 8 comma 9, 8 comma 9. Now merge all these and take order pair. So set 3 we get as 0, 0, 1, 2, then 2, 3, then 3, 5, then 5, 4, then 6, 6, 7, 7. Now here, 8 comma 9 profit is 8 and the weight is 9 so that is exceeding the capacity of the bag don't include that one so we have discarded that right now this is set 3 in this one if you observe this is profit this is weight profit increase weight increase then from this profit increase weight also increase Profit increased and the weight also increased. But here profit increase, weight is decreased from 5 to 4. This is not possible. Profit is increasing, so the weight is also increasing. But weight is decreased, how it is possible? So that's why this order pair are wrong. So we have to discard any one. So we will discard the one with the lesser profit, smaller profit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we have only 6 order pairs because 2 were invalid. One was, this was giving wrong values and this was exceeding the capacity of the bag. So cutting off this one, we call it as a dominance rule. So with the dominance rule, the value is order pair is discarded. Now I will consider fourth object, 6, 5. I will include. So I will prepare set 3, 1 by considering fourth object, 6, 5. So first order pair is 6 comma 5. Next order pair is 6 and 5 are added. So this is 7 comma 7. And then 6 and 5 are added. So this is 8 comma 8. And then 6 and 5 when they are added, it will become 11 comma 9. 6 and 5 added. So this become 12 comma 11. And 6 5 when added to 7 and 7. So this becomes 13 comma 12. Now I have to prepare set 4. This is the final set. Merge these order pairs. So 0, 0 is taken from here. 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 5, 4, 6, 6 and 7, 7. They are coming as it is. Now in this one, 6, 5 is there. So 6, 5 should come before 7, 7. So 6, 5. Now here again you see the profit is remaining same but the weight is reducing. So this should be removed. Then 7,7 7 is there. Then 8,8 8 is there. 
then remaining 11 comma 9 exceeding the capacity of the back 9 11 and 12 so all three order pairs are gone so these are the order pairs i have so if you observe the method is generating all possibilities so this is one easy method of finding all possibilities so the time taken by this one is almost 2 power n now what is the solution so we have already sets now we take the sequence of decisions to solve this one now what is the maximum order of air 8 comma 8 so 8 comma 8 now using that i will solve this one so the approach is similar like what we saw in the tabular method 8 comma 8 belongs to set 4 but 8 comma 8 check whether it belongs to set 3 in the set 3 8 comma 8 was not there so it doesn't belong to set 3 therefore fourth object is included because of that only we got 4 comma 4 now i should take an order pair 8 comma 8 from this i should subtract the profit and weight of the fourth object so this is profit is 6 and the weight is 5 so the order pair is how much 2 comma 3 so now I should consider 2 comma 3. So now this was the first one. Now second one. 2 comma 3. Now I have to consider third object. So check whether it belongs to S3. 2 comma 3. Yes, it belongs to S3. And 2 comma 3 belongs to S2. Check whether it belongs to S2. S2 comma 3 is there here also. It means this is not because of the third object. So therefore third object is not included in the back then now next step is i will consider second object 2 comma 3 belongs to set 2 for second object 2 comma 3 now does it belong to set 1 but 2 comma 3 doesn't belong to set 1 so 2 comma 3 was belonging to set 2 and 2 comma 3 doesn't belong to set 1 so therefore this is because of the second object that is included now what is the profit and weight of the second object 2 comma 3 so when you subtract 2 comma 3 from this one 2 minus 2 is 0 and 3 minus 3 is 0 so this gives 0 comma 0 now first object i will consider now the step is 4 so 0 comma 0 belongs to set 1 and also 0 comma 0 belongs to set 0 therefore first object is also not included 0 comma 0 belongs to s1 also s0 also it means this is obtained not because of the first object so first object is also not included then the solution is from bottom if you see 0 1 0 1 so the answer is 0 1 0 1 so these two objects are included see the profit is 8 so we got the same solution with the help of sets also so this is one more method that's all about 0 1 knapsack problem leave a comment and let me know whether it was easy for you to understand so i have shown you both the steps for solving 0 1 knapsack problem right in some places we find tabulation method and some places we find the sets method